Welcome back everyone to Inside Infection Control, our video blog here at CDC's Project First Line. I'm Abby Carlson, I'm an infectious diseases doctor at the CDC, and it's wonderful to have you back with us today. In an earlier episode, we had talked about cleaning and disinfection and the difference between the two. In general, cleaning removes dirt and gunk and removes and sometimes kills some germs. But disinfection makes sure that as many germs as possible are destroyed or killed. Today we're going to talk just a little bit more about why cleaning and disinfection are so important in healthcare, not just for stopping the spread of SARS-CoV-2, that virus that causes COVID-19, but for stopping the spread of lots of different germs and infections. It's common sense that cleaning is important to keep infections from spreading in healthcare settings. Cleaning and getting rid of dust and dirt and body fluids keeps germs away from people. Disinfection, when you think about it, is also common sense too. Killing germs definitely keeps them away from people and therefore keeps people from getting sick. Even though it's common sense though, it's important to think through all the reasons why we're so careful about keeping an environment clean. Now, you probably clean and disinfect when you're at home. Um, you clean your windows, you wash your dog, you might even disinfect some parts of your kitchen or your bathroom. But cleaning and disinfection in healthcare is a bit different. Why is that? When we're at home and we're healthy, our bodies have a lot of built-in ways to protect us from infection, including things like our immune system or even our skin, which is a very important part of our immune system as a whole. But in healthcare, we have a lot of patients who are ill and weak, and germs are more likely to cause problems in these patients because their immune defenses might not be the same as somebody who's healthy and living at home. With some patients, you can see how they might be vulnerable to infections. If they have burns or wounds, for example, or if they're having a procedure done where germs can get under the skin, like having an IV put in or a catheter. But a lot of patients have things going on that you can't really see, like if their immune system is weak because of the medication in their cancer treatment. So it's incredibly important to have the environment free of germs, especially in places where they can pose risks to patients, and to us, and to our coworkers. So, for example, when a patient leaves a room or is discharged right before a new patient goes into that room, it should be cleaned and disinfected to make sure that the next patient is protected from the previous patient's germs. We also clean and disinfect things that get touched a lot, like door handles, keyboards at the nurse's station, light switches, we call all of these high touch surfaces. And they need more frequent cleaning and disinfection because all of the hands that get on them. Because we know that if germs get on our hands, then they can get all over the place and that can make people sick. We also clean and disinfect things that may not get touched or shared as often, that, but that we know tend to be dirty and have a lot of germs on them, things like a toilet seat or a patient's mattress. There's even more reason that killing germs is so important. A lot of the germs that we're seeing in healthcare are unfortunately becoming more resistant to antibiotics. That means if somebody gets sick with those germs, the antibiotics, those medicines that we use to treat them, might be less likely to work and less likely to help that person get better. There have been outbreaks before where people have gotten sick from these germs in healthcare and antibiotics 